Close. Okay, so first of all, there's a lot of this. This is a shit show. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is horrible. This is a shit show. Um, why? What do you think the problem is? And not even you. Let's. Well, well just, there's a few things you're doing wrong, but. Is... Yeah, yeah. Pretty well. Not even that. It's like we're starting around. We insta throw three stars down, which like it's fine. We are hitting it quick, but like these stars don't do anything. It's like we're smoking our garage players off. First of all, if I if this is my team and you split oh, garage and I have a garage God. player, I'm blasting your. Yeah, I don't know why I asked for that. That's troll, but all good. <laughs> Like, if, yeah, if you, if you see split against my team, or not even my team, just a better team, like, and, and I have a, f any character in Garage that can CC you to some extent, which, like, I, I and here I'm running a raise, a fade, and, like, a, I, I, whatever, I'm just, cause, yeah, this is just, there's a sky in there, right? Like, let me watch what happens before I even look at you. Okay, so yeah, Sky's trolling, like, uh, in what universe is there ever going to be a so somebody soloed in this corner? Like, that's just dumb, that doesn't make sense, right? Um, that's problem one. Problem two is, like, Careful back. Careful yeah, there's just, uh, and I don't want to talk too, too much about, like, the scaling and, like, this, the exact, like, this, I'm more so focused on kind of what you're doing. The only thing I'd say you're doing wrong is just, you, there's, you should never have the bomb here, this is troll. You should also usually not... Well, maybe not. I was going to say, you might not always need to have everybody hitting C, right? Like, if you're doing a fast C hit, especially with all this util, like, realistically, what's going to happen is, like, you're going to have more coordinated hits. So, like, this nade was actually pretty good. And, like, if you put that this star here back here, instead of putting it back site, putting it, like, or, sorry, instead of putting it back plat, putting it back site, it's, like, you just, the, the site is free, and it's, like, you could just, like, late lurk. That'd be a lot better, I think. You rarely ever do you need to just hit as, like, five. Now, on a map like Haven, it's, it's more justified, right? Like, I don't want you to think this is bad. But that's also that's just kind of an option. The only thing I think that was incorrect here, and this this will literally have one of you guys around. I actually want you to tell me, like, what do you think? I'll I'll, I'll display it out. There's a lot happening here. Like I said, you shouldn't have the bomb, whatever. Okay, so right here forward, I want you to tell. I want you to watch and tell me what's wrong. Well. Already he knows there's two because I dropped my gun. Uh, uh, I, leave, okay. so I don't leave with him after. I don't know. So the, the gun thing it doesn't matter. It, it, it's just, it's the, it's the comms, honestly. You're in a 2v3, right? You have to make a play. You have to do something. You have to make a something. You have to do something here, right? You can't just AFK and just like sit there and play the round out normally, right? At least not against a good team. You're just going to die. So you guys need to instantly calm a play. Double push CT. Let's fight this guy garage. Can we just go walk along together, play off site? Like anything can work. I don't know what util this guy has, but none of that happens. Like we're just kind of here, and like his comms are okay. He's kind of like oh, I'm leaving, like whatever. But even then, he's like oh, he should come swing that right. Like it's like there's so there's a lot of troll stuff here. Like you can con that too. Like let's just double walk up on these kids. You would have killed them both, hundred percent. There's no shot. This guy's ready for you guys to double swing his ass. Actually, okay, I shouldn't say that. That, that. That's incorrect. I mean, but 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 what I am trying to say is you need to make a you make a play here. There needs to be a mid round decision here right now. This is the only one, especially in a post plant and you're at a disadvantage. Like this is how you win these types of rounds. Like double walks, uh, just just something together. And like you kind of just been together here with the fight, but it's like not really, right? You see what I'm saying? He kind of runs away. I can't. I can't. And like yeah, now you end up in this awkward situation where like you can't realistically move, and he has to kind of awkwardly watch like yeah. long and garage, and like yeah, you get the point. So now it just spirals downhill. So, anyways, you almost won it, NT, but yeah, but yeah, no, obviously. <laughs> but do you see the problem? Yeah, hundred percent. I think you. So this is something that I think you're gonna get a lot of value out of watching vods on is T side chamber chamber on T side. That is the on, literally the only downfall this character has. The only thing is that his T side is, is okay. His ter he does not do a whole lot on attack side. And so you need to figure out how can I provide value to my team. And it might just be running into sight and blasting, kind of like you did, maybe. But more often than not, it's going to be taking timings and whatnot because of the fact that like you don't have literally any util at all to help your team. At least Jet, who like Jet has very little util too, but she can dash into smoke, which is obviously huge, right? Like, what do you do on an entry? Or, like, what do you do when you're just hitting a site? Like, you don't do anything other than shoot your gun. Which is, what's I said, that could be good depending on where you're at. Like, if you're having a hot game, I would actually say. That's, like, something I call to my team sometimes. I've had my teammates in my chambers, like, try to take lurk timings on T-side. But they're, like, they're like 18 and, and 9. I'm, like, no, go to the site and just kill their whole team. But, but like, you know, we're at the start of a game. Like, we need to play a little more loose. So, it's, like, 
That's one thing I'm going to tell you now, and obviously I'll help you with now. It, it, you need to go ahead and start instantly thinking about that. Like, how can I find value on T-Side specifically? Hey, can we play mid? Can we play B? Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Can't be no, flicked. Yeah. Yeah, so another thing is um, I'm glad you're trying to have a voice. That's good, actually, especially when you're in, like, a trial. Um, but, you know, don't just call stuff to call stuff. Don't, like, call from spawn. A lot of people say this is, like, don't just kind of, like, say things just to say it. And don't just do things, like, can we play mids? Like, what does that mean? What do, you, what, do, what do you, and that's fine to call that, but, like, what do you want to do with that? Like, can we find fights mid? Do we want to get bombed down B? Do we want to insert me into close B corner? Like, there's a, lot, there's a million things that that means, but it's, like, we just say can we play mid. So it's, like... A little more specific, and it's specifically against in, in a level of play where like these people are also like I'm not gonna say like bad, but they're not they're not super um you know they're they're not making a lot of these mid round calls either. They're not really like super aware of what to do on this eco or like they don't really have a super set game plan. Once again, nothing nothing, nothing of skill per se, but it's like if you can be the guy that can do that, like let's do this on our eco, like call some specific stuff. That's gonna be really beneficial. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So what's going on here? Well, we technically, yeah, we just all give up garage. You all go B, every single one of you. Yeah. So what are teams going to do when you take space? Well, they're going to use util to get that space back or fight for it. So that's, yeah, they're either going to try and deny the space by pushing back with util. That's one option. Sure. They're going to go around. There you go. Wait, what do you mean go around? Well, like, they're going to give you that space. And then do what? And like, like, like if someone's gonna push garage, and then they're gonna push through the lane. Yeah. So if somebody takes. If you take space here, somebody's gonna take space here. Well, this, that's that. Ignore that. That's not a good example. It's Haven, or it's short. Yeah. If you take space, if your team is taking A, good teams are gonna do this. Sorry. All right. Let's say your team's doing this. T side. You're boom, 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 boom. Good teams are gonna go some form of walk down C, walk down garage, or walk down mid, or probably a combination of both. Not, not all three, obviously, or maybe all three, who knows, but probably not, right? And so what's going on here? Well, you know, what happens in the VOD? Well, it's that, and then they push garage. It's the same thing. They see five people mid, and they're like, oh, I'm going to push that garage. And the thing is, this is very, very important, specifically at the level of play you're at, where you're like early competitive player, like level of play, to where like not, not everybody you're going to play with is very experienced. Do you realistically think... It's a good idea. Well, how's yeah? Do you think it's a good idea for this this guy to solo walk out garage on an eco? No, that's an awful idea, right? But because you guys weren't really thinking, and I guess you specifically as chamber, you know, you you weren't there to capitalize off of that. So it, this is a big mix of it. It's a similar idea on that ascent thing, where it's like we're giving space we don't need to because we feel like we have to be a part of the action, which is on an eco. This is for the record fine, honestly. Um, you're just trying to barrel in there and take that. Well, kind of fine, but like it, it's the same concept of like we gave the space that one that one mod for like no real reason. It's a similar plan. It's a similar thought. It's like, do I really need my entire team rushing up B? It's like no, we're getting the bomb down or we're not. That's just how that's gonna go. With four of them, four four or five is not gonna make the world a difference, especially B because like they're just gonna do what they did and like probably just tether your ass or whatever they however they threw it. Yeah. Smoke you off, and then just flood in and then just kill the planner or, or whatever they're gonna do, right? And like, you should just be prepared to capitalize on these mistakes that these teams make, right? You see what I'm saying? Okay, let's 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 back up. So like, why should our jet ever be solo short? And, and not even just jet. What what's the value of getting somebody in short like this? Like, wh why why is this good? Well, first of all. Um, ignore ig and sort of ignore what's going on here. Just yeah, why is this good? I think they get uh, paranoid. I think that that's like one main point. If yeah, know, these players like yeah okay. And why is that good? What, what's your rotates? Yeah, exactly. So that's why you do it. It keeps these players occupied. Yeah, that's a Molly. It holds these players, right? Do you watch basketball? Uh, no, not really. Okay, then I'm not gonna even go into that. Okay, so yeah, it no, keeps these. Can, you can, I know. Basically. You know, okay, so in basketball, there's something called a 2-3 zone, which is basically... Yeah, yeah. I think I... Did I go over this with you last time? No. Okay, so in basketball, it's a 2-3 zone. So basically, the way that works is... Let's say this is a ball. Ball's at the top of the key. You got the five people around just playing whatever, right? Vipers hooping out there. So, in basketball, the way 2-3 zone works is it's two at the top, three at the bottom, right? 
Actually, I'm not going to draw X's. I'm going to put, um, I'll put stars out there because I got to move these. Right. And so the way a 2-3 zone works is if the ball moves, the defense shifts, right? Like everybody will shift. So if the ball's up here, this guy doesn't really need to do anything. Like this guy's like not going to get any value. By the time the ball were to get, so like let's, this guy usually moves up. This guy comes up a little and this guy trumps like to here. Everything shifts a little, right? Just because like, there's no reason not. If this guy were to throw the ball back to this guy, it's like this guy will be here in time to stop it. Everybody can shift back. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now this guy's not going to go here because then probably not. This guy can sneak up and like he can shoot. This is the goal, right? But so the, I'm, the reason I'm explaying this is because, wait, oh, I was about to say, why is there an extra star? Um, the reason I'm explaining this is because y y your pressure on the map, you can view it like this, like in a way. Like right now, your other the other team knows that the ball, quote unquote, is here, right? They they know that you are like over here with, I mean, they don't know the spikes here. You can view it that way. But the, the, the main pressure is here. They saw you. They saw Astro. They saw KO. Multiple people spamming. Like they know there's multiple people here, right? Which happened to be these three. So the ball is going to shift, right? In this exact scenario, if we go back to this, here's the ball. It's like here in their scenario. The defense wants to shift, right? So... If the defense overshifts, if this guy comes here, this guy goes here, everything shifts, this guy comes up too far, and you have somebody inserted, what can the guy on the, the right side wing do? Take this piece. Walk up, they throw the ball to him, he scores, right? Mm -hmm. So in a, in a weird way of an analogy, that's exactly what your jet can do. If they over-rotate, like, like these players did in the basketball scenario, if these guys leave, I don't know who's on their team, doesn't matter. Guess what? Your jet can walk up and quote unquote score, find an opening, whatever, however you want to look at it, right? Or she can hear them leaving and these players can, can come back, right? Something like that. So that is a weird analogy. And if you don't understand basketball that much, but that, does that make sense? You seem to be getting at. I like to use this because it's very simple. Like the basketball concept, people at least know how basketball operates. And like a 2-3 zone is very simple. Well, I mean, not necessarily, but on a surface level, a 2-3 zone in basketball is very, 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 very simple, right? And so that's what this does. And it's in a weird way of an analogy. It's like, this is how this works. Like if the player on a, which is here, and you can literally view this as your two, three zone, right? You have your two, you know, obviously there's not like the same, like two, two, and then three, three, three. That's not how that works. But if, yeah, if, if there's an over rotate, a mistake, your guy can capitalize on it. So basically I, yeah, I mean, the TR, TLDR is, I obviously agree with you. I'm going to clear everything. So. Yes. Okay. There we go. Fade. I was bid. So we literally know where their whole team is right now. There's two A, one C, one garage, one B. Literally, we saw the fade. I mid. Let's back up. I'll actually back up even a second more. Am I going back in fives? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Wait. I don't think we do. No. Well, Hold we up. See Sky Dog. Oh, we got That's a fade. Oh, I. Yeah, yeah. So your fate's trolling. She needs to calm this stuff. Sky dog bid. You see two A. Jets should say I'm fighting two. So two or even just two A. Jet chamber. She should say I'm fighting two. Two A. Jet, jet chamber. Your fate should be like dog out of B. Wait a minute. They I'd see you guys are blind. You literally know exactly where their team is within ten less than ten seconds. You know exactly where they're at. Now that you know where their whole team is and we have our jet inserted, like we know for a fact these two are probably going to be A still, so we can make a quicker ish decision somewhere else on the map as long as we do it together. But now we just kind of wait, yeah, yeah, we yeah. spam, like nothing's going on. Like now we're back, now we're back to cut for info. Like we still know there's two A probably, but that's it. It's like, they're likely still in similar spots because like, why would yeah. they move or they, they should move to be fair. But do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think uh, what happens here is we just rotate because I think I want to go off jet space, but oh shit. Yeah, and that's fine. Like you should, you you should play. Your jet actually being down here is not bad. I mean, her dying is a bit troll, but like even then, it's not too big of a deal because she's con she's containing these players. But we're not doing anything about it, right? Yeah. Like we're just walking back. It's like great. Like we did some early seat pressure, which that's fine. But then like we don't do anything. It's like now we're four v five now. It's like, okay, great. What do we do? We also have gun advantage. Keep in mind, like we have rifles. Yeah, they have it. specters. And that's kind of why I was saying like you should I would have instantly called everybody back to see to either either a C split or just go B honestly probably not go B because it's an eco or it's a, it's a bonus but you know that there's one 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 and two A and it's like like y you have gun advantage just take some space fast but now we're going back into this slow methodical play and it's like there's no reason for that.
Okay, so. Well, it's this isn't it's not as bad as you think. No, no, I know, but like I should like at least speak plat like before I started walking up. It's not even that. So let's talk T side up. How do we make T side up valuable? Let's just talk about that. Like, just kind of give me your thoughts, and don't even ignore the round. Don't even talk about the round. I mean, if it pertains to the round, sure, but. The way I see it is that like you kind of like set up your op in on an angle and like you try to like well just work a pick right so, like I don't think like you try to push anything I think you just like work a pick like try to default something how do you work a pick the way I see it because I'm not too good at this um well what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is not necessarily bad I just feel like correct it's not bad the way I do it alone. So why 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 is what you're doing not bad? Like why why are you doing this? Why are you well, saying C? Because um because I think my thought process there is that if I walk up long or if uh, if a guy rotates from C, I catch him lacking first first of all. Mm -hmm. And if I walk up long, and the omen's not playing backside, I just get a free pick again. I can get out. What you're saying is not bad, right? Like, you're, you're sort of on the right track. There's a million ways to play T-Side up, by the way. There's no right answer. So I don't want you to think, and that's why I just told you, like, what you said is not particularly wrong. The way I view T-Side up is literally is a fail safe. So what I mean by that is, and this is what the, this is, I, I don't know. I think NRG does a really good job of this. With Tex, if he's ever having an op, and this is obviously binds a bit more of a drastic example because there's way less lands. So that's why Chamber's insane. But regardless, the way they play the op and the way a lot of teams play the op is they just have him fail safe an angle. So what I mean by that is hypothetically, and there's I, I wish I had this round pulled up, but I'm, I don't want to take time to find it because I don't even know which game it's from. They were doing a B scale, his team. I don't know who's on it. I don't know who's, who was on what, but whatever. They're B scaling. They have, they have the split like cool, right? What Chamber did, they just posted his ass on a line right here. He just boom, skadoosh, skadoosh. And this was smoked, and they didn't have an omen for the record. I'm just, whatever. So what happened is, they were scaling in. Guess who tried to make a play through the smoke, and guess who got opt? Somebody. Oh, yeah. Somebody. So, that's one way you can, I, I say the word fail safe, that might be the best term for it. But what I mean by that is, you allow your team to not have to worry about certain angles. Yeah. But that's why, like, if you, I, I would have potentially even called your team back into a split. Help to have your team help you get this little line right here, and just sit your ass right here. Just boom, they just post up. Because now you do a split. You have two people coming up garage, and your fade and Astra comes up here. What's Omen thinking? Yo, yo, yo I'm going to swing along, kill this guy. Boom, ops, dead. Jumps up plat, dead. So now all your your team can scale up for free. Dead, dead free. They, only, they never have to worry about getting swung from these guys. Because if they do, you're, they're going to get opt. So that's kind of the thing about T-Set Up that you have to be looking for. And so once again, C is not the best example because some people, whenever your team is scaling, just won't swing this angle because like there's no reason to. So this is not the best place for you and which is why I was going to say like when you do find your up, you need to figure out a way to set yourself up for this or find a deep line. That's also possible. Find a line to like insert yourself and get a rotate. We get the op, boom, let's just go back to B. Can you guys get me here and just wait? Great, do that. Can you guys maybe get me like he is a bit riskier? Um, actually, I probably wouldn't do that because they could just see your gun or whatever. Boom, and you just sit here and wait. We get our op. Let's actually draw this out. I'm gonna actually draw out all the pieces here. You get your op. Boom. You guys are all here. Hypothetically, you should have somebody at least containing the space. Especially if you're, especially if for their goal is to get you this orb, is like you shouldn't have anybody. I would do like this and just smoke top C. Just have these two support you. Just dog it up. Dog the smoke, and then you grab the orb, you'll know like what's going on. Whatever, boom. We get the orb, cool, we're out of there. I would then have my team put me somewhere. When honestly, you could just make that whatever you're comfortable on. Are you comfortable holding this angle like that? Like, sure, do that. Are you more comfortable holding long? Like, well, if I guess if your team goes long, that's not the best choice. Even here, right? Like, now that you have an op, you need to help tell your team, get me in a spot to where I can find a rotate line late. So you you can like go here, hold this line, like this, your team goes A. Now guess what? Boop, dead, free kill. Another option. Actually, you tell me another option. What's another choice here? 
one that I see that would be a fail, uh, fail so safe would be literally just while we scale up A, just staring at backside. Yeah, another good option. Let's go A, guys. I'll, I'll hold backside. There you go. Beautiful. Somebody swings heaven. Boom, they're dead. Somebody swings backside. They're dead. Great. Another choice. Another one is this. You sit here. Your trip is mid. I, you could put your trip C this time. Like, you can also, like, pre plan this ahead. And you're actually potentially safe from here. Like, they might not be able to see you from this. Oh, never mind. They'd see you. What, what, regardless, like, your team goes into a B. B hit. Where are they going to walk out of? Whenever your team goes B, they're walking out of A. Or they might walk out of garage. Guess what? Guess who's there? Bada boom. Chamber. So, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is how you get value out of a T-side op. And so a lot of people like to force the op on T-side because of this reason. They just get their chamber, just sit there and AFK on these angles. And if somebody tries to punish, he just gets punished for that attempted punish. But instead, we're trying to be overzealous, right? Like, and even here's a good example. Like, if you would have went cubby, you would have seen this guy. Yeah, and you just want to opt him in the face. Because, like, that's also just safer. So be careful... And this is okay. It's scrims, right? Like you need to f you need to figure out this balance. You need to figure out like the level of a uh, of 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 like safety and not safety, right? Like I'm actually okay with you doing this because now you know, like, all right, don't do this again. You even said it yourself. But do you see what I'm trying to say? Do you see my point? Thanks for watching. I hope you guys got a lot out of this VOD review. If you're interested in getting a coaching session for yourself, feel free to check the link in my bio to where you can either find my Metify, where you can find all information on coaching, or to my Discord, where there will also be information on the coaching, as well as a link to my Metify where you can book with me, all that good stuff. I also just recently launched my Patreon, where you can get exclusive content such as pro player Q&As, discount codes for coaching, exclusive VOD reviews, and stuff like that. Also, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video. I used to upload my coaching sessions in the past, but they were always the full hour-long session, which is a bit hard to digest. So I tried to just take some of the um, the good topics from this one and just put that all into one video, where I can also potentially later upload the full VOD if those might want it, potentially through the Patreon or whatever. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.